finally found I finally found one. I'm gonna reel it in with that. Supper time, supper time, supper time. Ooh, dandy, there ain't. Lord, just catch one while I'm trying to tell you something. I'll catch one when you're talking. I know, that's a good one. We're catching the pre-spawn crappie. We are in Toledo Bend Lake, right on the Texas Louisiana line. These, these crappie are on these big stumps. This water's low, and this is going to be fun. Uh, my partner up yonder, he's, he's a bass fisherman, but I'm going to teach him best I can today about this crappie fish. Well, you got me running the boat for it. Oh, you the guide, but I'm the guide. The We're going to be right here, y'all. So stay with us, Will. We're going to have a big time today. You know what? If I tell you a rooster will pull a freight train, you just hook him up to it, yeah? Or that's going to happen. Shut up and hand me a black one. Sure short can tell them. I don't want to hear this all, whatever this rooster's supposed to be doing to the train or That's whatever. <laughs> Good girl. That is a good. I gotta get him out of that. That's a heck of a crappie right there. Now get out of her way. <laughs> That's a good start right there. Tell you what. <laughs> The G3 Sportsman is presented by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Hey, welcome to today's G3 Sportsman. What do you get when you cross a savvy crappie guide and a legendary bass fisher? You get the inmates running the asylum, that's what you get. Today's show, we're featuring two favorites, Uncle Bill Fondren and Lonnie Stanley, together in the same boat. Bill's guiding from the back of the boat. Lonnie's running the boat. It's his boat. So you can only imagine. I'd love to be able to tell you today that you're going to learn something. You're going to be able to, to catch more fish after this show, everything. But I'm telling you, it's it, this show is nothing but fun. There's no question about it. And those are the type of shows we need more of right there. The time of year is late February, early March. We're on the Louisiana side of Toledo Bend Lake. The crappie are biting and the bickering starts. Put the motor in the water, man. All right. Put the motor. Look, you already telling me what to do already. We ain't even left yet. <laughs> I'm the guy. Guys, you want to be driving? <laughs> I can. I know well, how. Hey, why don't you drive until we get to where right. we're going? All right. Look, look how good it is. Look at the fish right there on the edge of that hump. Look yeah. at that. Right here. Right there. See that? Yeah. Coming down that hump there. Big bass right there. I can't see them. Yeah. Huh? Right. They just having a jig head on there. Lonnie, look in, look, look in here and see if there ain't a black one in here. They used to have this boat. This boat ain't marked. It had them little bitty white pegs in it. By the big stump, Bill. Oh, look at him. Bill. I got to think I got me a bass. You fishing? I'm thinking. Ooh, look, what a crappie. Oh, God, I can't really pick him up. Oh, that's pretty. That's a good one there, now. That's all right. Oh, that's a nice crappie there, now. All right, Bill. 
We're going to have a fish fry tonight. Well, yeah, we put it in this oh, bucket right here. Goodness, okay. You can put all yours in there with mine. You don't have to do like that other <laughs> fella we fish with. Put them in there with mine. I'll take them home with me. All right, we're back where we started. Yeah. We need to go down this way. You, you're going around. I was around going that way you... when I caught the fish. Shut up and leave me alone. Why well, should you. we leave? We, we just now. I just now didn't go got, where I could cast. What they call that stuff? Dementia? I believe you lost. Hey, this man over in that other boat got one. Bill, well, why should I like leave? Boat, man, I'm catching faces. I can put one in the boat up here. Why am I ain't moving nothing? There's a little fella here. You got nothing? Yeah, a little fella. What you doing? That I ain't doing, Rick. Yeah, we're going to let him live. A little male. Man, it's loose down there. It's Kate a tough, strong enough. Keeps on going when the going gets rough. Kate a tough, strong enough. Everything you need. Summer, spring, winter, fall. G3 lets you do it all. Visit G3Boats.com to find your nearest G3 and Yamaha outboard motor dealer. Some hunters only stand in the bargain line. And there are others who will never stand behind any brand. But some will always stand for quality without compromise. Where do you stand? Fioki. What's in your gun? Garmin says their new Echo Fish Finders are simply the best fish finders for the money. I'll echo that. Right. Garmin also says you'll be impressed with the Echo Fish Finders' excellent power, screen clarity, and free transom and trolling motor mounting kit. I'll echo that. A nicer uh, bass. I'll echo that. Uh, Oh. oh, why is it looking at me? It's got the punch of a heavyweight and the pounds of a lightweight. Welcome to the main event featuring the new Yamaha four-stroke F70, tipping the scales at up to 142 pounds lighter than its four-stroke competitors. That's a class-leading power-to-weight ratio, a haymaker of a whole shot, surprising mid-range punch, incredible fuel economy, and industry-leading innovation, performance, and reliability. The Yamaha four-stroke F70. Reliability starts here. This segment of the G3 Sportsman is brought to you by G3 Boats. A great catch. Fioki Ammunition. What's your game? Abu Garcia. For life. And by Garmin. We'll take you there. I refuse to move. Right now I'm going to make a circle around these stumps. Yeah, you're front ending me what you're doing. You got me back here where I can't catch. <laughs> you got no open water. <laughs> I caught that one right there in the middle of the opening. Well, that I'm good one. About. You catch another one on that color, I'm fixing to swap. I got some of them somewhere in this boat. I missed him. You missed one? Yeah. Missed him again. I didn't miss him that time, though. Got him? <laughs> I did not miss him that time. Come here, big guy. I got a place for you to ride. Ain't that pretty? A lot of you didn't tell you how pretty mine is. Mine's pretty than yours. <laughs> okay. You know, <clears throat> these, these pre-spawn crappie like this, you don't find them every year. They, uh, they're they here, and we know they're here, but uh, it, it, the conditions have to be just perfect. And, and when, when one person finds out about them, they tell everybody in the world, and here they all come, and you can see all the people out here. But uh, 
It's fun. It's a, if, if you don't enjoy this stuff right here, you don't enjoy fishing at all, honey. I know it. Look at here. I ain't got a nothing. They went by them stumps, ain't they? Yeah, them. buddy. I'm pretty good at this, Lonnie. You know that, don't you? It's a pretty good one, huh? I'm a crappy fishing dude, what I am. Mm -hmm. You see what I done? I got rid of that. Whoa, you did too? You got nothing? Yeah, I got a big something. <laughs> I don't think this is a crappie. That gonna be a big one? Yeah, that's a big one. That's a good one. He mean, ain't he? Look at that. <coughs> he mean? I don't know this. Now that's a crappie there. Boy, that's there. a crappie there, ain't it? Look at the size of that. Look at that. He eat that little wedge tail. He just swallowed it. I like me setting them little bitty hooks and just eat them up. That's a nice crappie. That's a nice crappie there. A little black. Head. I don't mind opening the book. Early. Can you hit this big old hole? I can do that. I don't take no chances. Yeah, that's a second one. I'm about. Right there in the front of the boat. We don't get to, no, we don't get to spend much time together anymore because he's he's a big shot bait builder, and I I try to be a fishing guide. We don't get to see one another much anymore. But when old Scott comes down and and we kind of team up and get in the boat together, well, he gives us a day to do just about whatever we want to, and we just kind of kind of get our get our heads together. We're gonna probably argue more than anything. We're gonna have a good time. Try to. Try to put on a good show. You know, a lot of this grass, that, this grass is about two foot off the bottom down there. Yeah. And we in about seven foot of water here. That's where these grass, these, these crappie come in here to spawn. Well, yeah. Lord, just catch one while I'm trying to tell you something. All right, I'll catch one while you're talking. But, uh, messed up your tip. <laughs> <laughs> he messed up my tip all You know what, right in there. Why don't you? I ain't doing nothing. Oh. This water's got to be a certain temperature. It's got to be somewhere between 57, 58 to 64 for these things to get in here and go to spawning. Now, Uncle Bill won't admit it, but I will. If somebody else is thumping him on catching the fish, he ain't liking it. Uh, you got nothing? Man, I'm tired of you right now. Oh, it's a big old crappie out here. <laughs> Well, you, you learn this stuff pretty fast. Oh, mercy, I just barely got him hooked. Look at the size of that one, he's gonna fall off. That little bitty hook. Oh, put him in the boat, Lonnie. Look at the size of them crappie. Oh, well, like I said, look at this. He always picks it and fall off. I guess you want me to raise this lid again. <clears throat> hey, I got on the wrong end of this deal. You're supposed to raise the lid. <laughs> I'm about good. fed up with you. That's a good one. That's a keeper. I had all you. I don't want them. You got a, you got a chartreuse jig head on there, and I don't. That's what it is. You know, chartreuse is the color in the world. As far as I'm concerned, it's gonna be in my boat. I may have a shirt on that color, but it's gonna be in <laughs> somewhere. That's funny about colors. Look here. Look here. Look here. That one. I got one weigh 18 pounds. Now, Bill. You can't have an 18 pound crappie. <laughs> well, that's pretty close. That's a big one, isn't it? That's a good one, too. That thing's pretty to me. Look at that. Wasn't that pretty? It is pretty, isn't it? Oh, oh man. I was sitting there watching you, like, how pretty your fish was. One just tore my wedge tail minnow off. It's hard to tell whether what's prettiest, that fish or me. Now, Bill. Lord, what a crappie. Look at the size of that, Bill. You don't lose that, and I want to eat him, wouldn't you? Ooh, mercy. I don't know if I can pick him up. Wow, look at the size look of that, that crappie. <laughs> That's something. That's why you come to Toledo Bend right there. They're just a little bit bigger this time of year than on Sound River, you know? Yep. 
What matter the lid up, my boy? What's the I ain't got time to fool with you, man. <laughs> Come on. Then we got a no sack flash full of them. Water get me, that big of that thing ought to get me wet. Yeah. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm sorry I cut you off. I didn't mean to throw that away. You sure did. Look at you. Go ahead. Don't How you expect me to fish? Just let your great catch begin with your family and friends. America's going fishing with G3. With G3. Visit G3Boats.com to find your nearest G3 and Yamaha outboard motor dealer. I'll tell you what, waterfowlers, I shoot a Beretta Extrema 2. I just can't believe how universal in its application this gun is. And it fires every time I squeeze the trigger. Here they come, here they come. There's no question that this thing works in all conditions. That's the best shotgun I've ever shot. Take the real deal is that the gun just works and works and works. Good shot. Wow. Get inside the Beretta Extrema 2. Blast off at BerettaUSA.com. This segment of the G3 Sportsman is brought to you by Beretta. 500 years, one passion. Mossback fish racks, no matter how you stack them, we attract them. Berkeley, catch more fish. Shakespeare, quality fish and tackle since 1897. And by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Today was a special day getting Bill Fondren in the back of my boat. He's my crappie guide for the last 25 years. And to get him in the back of my boat and taking a little wedge tail minnow. And you know, I think he caught the first two and I caught the next 15. And uh, giving him a whooping, hey, that was fun. He kind of, he, he's gonna give me back, uh, we'll be going to the crappie piles this summer and he'll get on the crappie pile, he'll pay me back. But I like to get Bill riled up, you know. He, he's pretty witty and you have to be on your toes because he's gonna get you one way or the other. You got it? Yeah. I got it. Hey, how much do I get for that guy? You that don't get nothing. Why, yeah, man, I just told lead. you I missed one out there and you throw out there and catch him. Yeah, but I'm good and you ain't. I didn't miss. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Bill. You really, that ain't right. <laughs> well, that's nice. Let me think, find me another, would you? <laughs> I ain't finding, I ain't telling you nothing. Find me another. I got you a cheeseburger the next one. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have said that word. I'm hungry now. See how I done that? I'll show you in a minute. That's that little old light drag technique I got, you know. I learned that from. Now, wait a minute, Bill. Listen. This ain't no time to be messing around here. Yeah, I like just get lost the fish and told you where to throw and you caught him. Now well, you're going to give me a schooling on what you did, yeah, right? Just, just how you, you, you pull. <laughs> All right. Well, pull another one out there because here's the deal. It don't matter which one of those fillets you catch or I catch. <laughs> You're going to eat it. I'm going to eat it either one. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of hog you that away, ain't you? Well, you did say it was right there by that tree, and that's right where I threw in it, and I did catch it. He just but eat see, mine I, up. I just called I'm good at this, and you're learning. I know. Well, you are the guide, you know. You know like. You're doing a good job up there, though. I kind of like this. I kind of like this, too, now. I caught mine this time. Well, at least I got him on. I don't know if I'm going to catch Your boat, see? They won't give me nothing pretty like this. I got... I, whoa, what you got? A great old big one. I don't know. Like a little bitty hook. Well, you going to have him for dinner in the water, or are you going to put him in the boat? I'm going to put him in the boat. Thank you. Now, Bill, I know you're the guide, but that's... That's a big one there. <laughs> <laughs> you, what, what is it that you're trying to tell me? <laughs> <laughs> these fish got real spooky. All these people have been using Roadrunner, little Roadrunners, is what me and Bill <clears throat> doing today. Eight pound test line. Usually use six, but when it's covered, we use eight. So we can straighten a little bitty hook out. A little 16th ounce weight. A little 16th ounce jig head with a two inch wedge tail minnow. And I'm just dragging that real slow over the top of that grass. I'll hit the grass and then I'll hit the bottom and then hit the grass. Look here, look at me. Boy, Did you finally here. catch you it? You ain't joking. I finally, found, I finally found one. I'm gonna reel it in myself. 
<laughs> That's a nice fish. Oh, wow. yeah, buddy. <laughs> Boy, it's nice, isn't it? Ain't that pretty? They got full of eggs. Not me. Hey, that's, that's ready to eat there, almost. Don't be eating it without we're cooking it, Bill. That's a pound and a half crappie. Very easily a pound and a half crappie. That's one of the new little combos that Pluggers come out with. It's a little arbor. It's about a medium, medium light, six and a half foot rod. And see how big around the reel is right here? The line don't, it's not compressed down. It's it's big and it don't kink up on you. It's really, really works good. Oh. Bill. Bill. Huh? Listen, hit it on the fall, man. Hit it on the fall? Hit it on the fall. I haven't done it too. As long as I caught one. Oh. Put him in the boat or not? Well, you know, I just threw it out there by nothing. Boy, he's pretty. The way the tail he fell out, he didn't have just like that one I just lost. Mm. Yeah, pretty 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 You know, a key tool anymore in fishing is, is just as important as your rods and reels is a handy GPS to have on your boat. Garmin's come out with this, this unit here. It's, it's the uh, bottle number 78SC. It comes preloaded with, with maps on here, but what you can do, you can download some of the U.S. inland maps as well. It comes with an SD card that you can put in here. Gives you detailed information and whatnot. You fish a place just like Toledo Bend. You can, you've seen during the show just how stumpy it is in this low water. It's very hard to be able to find the navigation lanes around here. This is handy as a pocket on a shirt. There's no doubt about it. This thing's right here can save you life and it'll also save you a lot of problems too. The Garmin 78 GPS mapping system right here. Comes with a ton of features. I don't have all day to sit here and tell you everything there is to know about it. Easy to use. I mean, if I can use it, anybody can use it. It's waterproof. I mean, you just throw that thing in there and it floats. How handy is that? Still. Introducing a revolutionary way to attract fish, the Mossback Fish Rack. From the box to the water, setup is a snap, and you can be fishing in no time. The rough surface on the branches encourages algae growth, and the unique design virtually eliminates hanging hooks. Use the Mossback Fish Rack in your pond, hang it off your dock, or sink it in your local lake. Join the guides, pros, and weekend fishermen who are already reaping the rewards. No matter how you stack them, we attract them. To learn more, visit mossbackrack.com. I was so sick of him fishing, I ran over his ugly stick with his own truck. Don't get me wrong, I couldn't be happier that he found a hobby. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go fishing today, Harry! I, uh, I'm a peaceful person. So I gave it to our dog, Sugar, as a chew toy. Your mama, her husband back! What is that thing made of? You know what happened? Nothing! nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Ugly stick, tested under some of the harshest conditions on Earth. Stupid ugly stick. The Yamaha VMAX SHO. First, it changed the game. Now, it set the standard. But don't take our word for it. The whole shot was everything they said it was going to be. And we accelerated from like 50 miles an hour to 70, and it was like that. So fast, so quiet. I mean, you give it power, and it's just there. That thing right there is just bad. The whole shot on it, the second to none. Oh, yeah, it's for real. Take a demo ride and feel the power yourself. You'll know why we call it the game changer. Design backed by cutting edge precision. Sophistication that's world renowned. Durability that's not to be outdone. So why do we insist on such perfection? We know what's at stake.
Veritas and Verdict, the next generation of the V-Series from Abu Garcia for life. You know, we've had a ball. Uh, we don't, fishing with Lonnie is, is special to me. We don't, I don't get to do it a lot. Uh, I stay on him and ride him pretty hard all the time because he's, uh, he's old and crippled, but uh, he's my friend and uh, we've really had a big time today. You know, today's been a special day getting to fish with Bill, my crappie guide. He's probably the best crappie guide I know of in the old state, especially on Sam Rayburn in Toledo. He always takes care of his, his clients and I ain't never been out with him. We don't catch you know anywhere from 30 to 150 crappie. We always catch our limit almost every time. But he's just fun to, big Bill to take care of you. And he's just a lot of fun to fish with. He makes your day go by super good. You know, it's always a pleasure to get to have Bill or Lonnie on the show, but today having them both on there, how fun is that right there? Caught a lot of nice crappie. Thanks to Bill and Lonnie, had a great time out here. But that's all the time we got for this week's show. But just remember, we'll be out there somewhere next week, right here on the G3 Sportsman. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, yeah, we need that. Been doing this what, 25 years? 25 years. Throw it in here. Let's go get us a cheeseburger. Don't splash water on my leg if you don't mind. You all right, buddy? <laughs> You're fine. <isn't> it? <laughs> the G3 Sportsman is brought to you by G3 Boats. A great catch. The Oki Ammunition. What's your game? Abu Garcia. For life. Garmin. We'll take you there. Beretta. 500 years, one passion. Mossback fish racks. No matter how you stack them, we attract them. Berkeley. Catch more fish. Shakespeare. Quality fishing tackle since 1897. And by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. You got one? That's a good one there. Come on, buddy. Say what, Bill? I said, I can tell a story about a bass and, and a crappie and one of your grand young ones. Hey, let's don't tell that story, all right? <laughs> I won't tell, tell that me. if you don't want me to. Where'd you get that fish here? Right in the middle of that little old Man, that boat there. put that fish on for you. Bill, look, see, you want to kiss him or something? You done caught up on me again. I'm going to tie a knot in your line while I got it. That's it. I'm through. Let's go watch American Idol.